right, that was President Biden yesterday dodging the blame again for surging inflation, claiming that there's nothing he can do to bring down prices. But my next guest says he does have a plan. Senator Ron Johnson writing in a Wall Street Journal op-ed, quote, we must secure our border. We need to stop fueling inflation with deficit spending. We can lower gasoline and energy prices by allowing the private sector to extract the fossil fuels we need writes Ron Johnson. Joining me right now, the senator himself. Ron Johnson is a member of the Homeland Security, Foreign Relations, and Budget Committees. Senator, it's great to see you as always. Thanks very much for being here. Well, look, the president came in on day one and canceled the XL pipeline, canceled drilling on federal lands. Obviously, he doesn't think that's an option to reverse that decision. Otherwise, he would have said it. No, good morning, Maria. No, the fact of the matter is President Biden, his uh, Democrat allies in Congress, and their radical left policies, that is the root cause of what is ailing this country. Just about all their policies are weakening America, uh, certainly tempting tyrants around the world, like Vladimir Putin to invade Ukraine. You know, we, we'd pretty well, we were certainly well on our way to securing our border. He dismantled all those successful policies. Now we have a completely open border. We were energy independent. Now we have record gasoline prices, uh, high energy prices. You know, their out of control deficit spending has sparked 40 year high inflation. They have caused all of this. None of this just happened. It was caused by President Biden, Democrats in Congress, and their radical left policies. Right. And that's why we keep showing the inflation timeline, because it's very clear what happened over the last year. As policy decisions were happening at the White House, it was stoking, 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 stoking inflation all the way up, uh, because inflation was 1.4 percent when Joe Biden walked into the White House. But then he signed in the COVID relief package, and inflation went to 2.6 percent, followed by the Democrats pushing that $5 trillion Build Back Better plan. But, Senator, isn't it true that they're still pushing Build Back Better? I mean, this morning we've got news that Joe Biden is going to uh, forgive $5.8 billion in student loan debt. He's also got these wide open border policies leading to a more than 10 percent surge in the U.S. illegal immigrant population. We've got new data this morning from the Census Bureau and the Bureau of Labor Statistics showing that the number of illegals in the United States right now has grown from 10.2 million when Biden took office to 11.6 million in the month of April, Senator. What's the impact? No, I would argue, I would argue the solution is, is relatively well known. But the problem is they are dedicated to their radical left policies. Uh, they figure that the time is running out, so they're going to do everything they can to try, try and make more Americans dependent on government, uh, grow deficit spending. Uh, this is what they want to do. This was their aim. This, again, this didn't just happen. This isn't an accident. Everything, all the problems we're experiencing in this country today, almost all of them, you know, the big ones, are caused by radical left policies that uh, this is what they ran on. You remember, they were going to fundamentally transform America. You know, now we're seeing what fundamental transformation looks like. Open borders, 40-year high inflation, uh, record gasoline prices, rising crime. They are fundamentally destroying this country. They need to be stopped. That's what elections are going to be all about in November. Wow. Well, do you expect anything to get done in the Senate in the coming weeks before the holidays uh, and the summer recess, Senator? I mean, what, what is he still trying to push through new legislation on spending? Absolutely. They're, they're working overtime to figure yeah. out uh, some way to entice uh, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema to join them in increasing taxes, which, by the way, will further increase inflation. I mean, taxes are just a cost of businesses that they pass along to consumers. Again, this is lunacy, what they're trying to push through. And unfortunately, you've got the media complicit in these awful policies as well. So they're not going to report on exactly what's causing all this. Uh, they're, in fact, uh, confirming the fact that, hey, the solution to this is more deficit spending. So, no, Democrats are yeah. dedicated to, again, making more Americans dependent on government, growing government, uh, in, you know, increasing their control over our lives. That's why I say they must be stopped. So, Senator, I'm getting breaking news here that OPEC Plus is going to be discussing adding 600,000 barrels a day to the oil market in the month of July. This is from delegates. The OPEC meeting is today. Is this going to be enough to get oil prices and gasoline prices lower? It might stabilize it, but, Maria, look how sad it is that we're looking to Saudi Arabia uh, to bail us out of high energy prices. You know, it had been a bipartisan goal for decades to become energy independent. We finally achieved it under the previous administration, and just like President Biden dismantled all the successful border 
uh, security uh, programs. He also de declared a war on fossil fuel and destroyed our energy independence. I mean, this is just a travesty what uh, his governance, what Democrat governance has done in this country. <clears throat> Yeah, we got initial jobless claims coming out, but real quick, what are your plans? Should, do you think that the GOP could take the Senate in November and change any of this? Well, I sure hope so. That's uh, <clears throat> that's certainly why I'm running again. I think I'm probably the best shot at uh, maintaining this crucial seat here in Wisconsin okay. as the incumbent. Yeah. Uh, but 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 if we do, Senator, you know, we, we've got to lay out the plan, which is what I try to do in the Wall Street Journal article. Yeah, Senator. Thanks very much.